He has a pulse, but he's not breathing spontaneously. He's in a junctional bradycardia rhythm. All right, let's get him on the pads. One of the benefits of using the capnography between the mask and the bag in a pericardiac arrest patient is it allows you to quickly identify a drop in perfusion or even a loss of pulse by seeing that value quickly drop to zero, which should prompt you to check a pulse. It looks like we lost capnography. Check a pulse. Check a pulse. I don't have a pulse. All right, get on the chest for CPR. Another great use for capnography in cardiac arrest is by identifying ROSC during resuscitation. If we see a sudden spike in capnography, that may indicate that the patient's regained a pulse. Right, we got a spike in capnography. Prepare for ROSC at the next pulse check. Rhythm check. I've got a sinus brady. We've got a strong pulse. All right, let's bring out those 12 lead cables, put a blood pressure cuff on. I also want to think about getting another IV going. Knowledge today will change how you practice tomorrow. Prodigy EMS.